Hello there folks, Robin Nichols here with what I hope is a bit of a fun exercise to do with focus stacking. Now focus stacking is the ability to combine multiple focused images of the same subject. As you can see here I've got a couple of boxes of tea bags and I've focused on the background and here I've focused on the foreground and in the middle one I've kind of focused on the cup which is kind of in the mid-ground. And the idea being is we can combine the three so we have a picture that is completely sharp from the front to the back. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use a feature in Photoshop Elements called Photo Merge. We don't actually have a focus stacking function per se as you can find in some other downloadable software. Indeed Photoshop CC also has this feature. I'm going to choose something called uh, Photo Merge Scene Cleaner. Um, I have the three pictures open as you can see they're all JPEGs it's taking a moment. Uh, what it's asking me to do is find a base image and the base image I think is going to be this left hand one because this is the one with the I think if I dress, drag it to the right, yeah. So this is the one with the Irish breakfast which is in focus. The extreme right hand one which is green highlighted if I double click it now puts it up there is the one with the Australian afternoon tea bags in the background that's nice and sharp and Twining's Irish breakfast is completely out of focus. So if you've used Photo Merge before, I think you probably know what I'm up to here. Uh, the idea being is uh, with Scene Cleaner or even Face Replacer, which is all run by this Photo Merge subset within Elements, it allows me to select a part of the photo and it translates or transfers, should I say, from the left-hand window to the right-hand window. So it's kind of like an auto, it's an auto montage, I suppose, an auto composite tool. It's a little bit rough and ready, but with a subject matter like this where it's reasonably obvious, you know, I've shot it on a black velvet background, so it should be easy for the software to select a green bag of tea bags, a green box of tea bags, for example. Let's try it. So you have a little pencil tool, and you can make the pencil tool go bigger or smaller, and that's way too big, so I'm going to bring it down. And I'm just going to rub the green felt pen on the Twinings out of focus tea bag and see what happens to the Twinings Irish breakfast on the right hand window. It takes a couple of seconds and it basically transplants the out of focus version onto the in focus version. So it basically ruins my, my little image there. So I'm going to press control uh, Z, uh, tr control Z to undo that. And I'm going to choose the background which is in focus, which is the Australian afternoon tea bags. And I'm just going to be very loose about this. You don't have to be accurate. And that's the cool thing about this. Bang. Whoa, did you see that? So now you can see that the orange label or the orange package has transferred from the left window to the right window. So I've got the right bit. So I've now not only got a sharp foreground, but I've got a really sharp background. Pretty neat. Let's just try it with the yellow one. And the yellow one is the teacup is in focus. So Logic says if I just sort of, oh look, there's a yellow felt pen. This is such a well-designed tool because they're all color coordinated. So that I will then know later there, it's just transferred it. If I mouse over the right-hand window, the final window, it actually shows me the areas. Okay, that's a bit of green, and that's from the yellow picture. Here's the green. Here's the green picture, and there's the yellow picture. I can choose to show the regions, and it actually shows me in graphic detail which bit has come from. Uh, the original one is the blue one, but there's the yellow and there's the green. So it's done a fine job of actually selecting the bits that I wanted. If you have a very busy, busy, busy image and you're trying to do it, maybe an insect with lots of legs and stuff, you may find it will just grab too many legs and do that. But it's a little bit of fun with Photo Merge and you can choose Photo Merge Scene Cleaner or even Photo Merge Faces because it works on the same basis. This tool will also align your images and this is a very cool little feature. Maybe I should have shown you that first but I'm going to cancel out of this and then start it again. So if you've shot a number of pictures and you want to do something like this and they're not in registration, i.e. you haven't used a tripod, we can actually fix them up. So let's have a look at how we do that. I need to get the photo bin open. Here are my three pictures. And let's say, well, maybe they're not lined up. I'm going to click on the advanced options and scroll down. And we have a thing called the alignment tool. So I'm going to choose, I think, the blue window. OK, that's the blue one. That's the one where it's in focus. And on the green window over here on the left-hand side, I'm going to double click. So we've got the in focus background, the out of focus background. And I want to make sure they line up. So with this alignment tool, we can do this. Click on it once, and as you can see, I've got these three little pointy targets appearing in the left hand image. What we do is this is actually very simple if I zoom in 
um, and I can just place this. For example, number one needs to go on the bottom of twinings there. Number two can go on the bottom of the twinings on the right hand side. And maybe number three can just go on the apex just by the kangaroo. There it is, just on the apex of the green box. And then I repeat the process on the left, on the right hand window. So I'm going to say line it up with that, line it up with that, and then get that and line it up with the corner there. Beautiful. Okay. So once I've done that, I click the Align Photos button, and somehow it works out, bing, there, it's just changed it very subtly. And I think if we zoom out, you should be able to see now we've got a discernible white line around some of these images, because it shifted the image very slightly in order to get them superimposed on top of each other perfectly. So that's an alignment tool which works really well in Photoshop Elements. It's not quite as good as the auto alignment tool we have in Photoshop CC, but big deal, we're not paying for that. So we've got a reasonably good one in the photo merge function.